What up guys? This is Raymond Iron by McKinney. Today I'm going to discuss and to help uh, clarify clear intentions and elevate emotions. When I think, well, Joe Dispenza talks about having a clear intention. I'm reading his book called um, Becoming Supernatural. And when I think of stuff like um, to define, your, define a clear intention with an elevated emotion. When you think of it, you hear people say, or emotion is energy in motion, focus in motion, directed focus. And when I talk about you, you don't have to force yourself to feel anything, guys. It's a, even in videos like Sammy Ingram's video, she talks about even robotically affirming thoughts. Like you don't have to force yourself to feel anything. The, you emotion that that's all I see guys it's directed directed focus that's what emotion that's how I see emotion thought in action thought in action and here's that's clear intentions your thoughts and then elevated emotions the direction of your thoughts where your where your specified direction is what's your what's your desire what what do you desire that's your, that's you're focusing on your desire that already exists here now. And I'm gonna read a little message to kind of help clarify what, from a scientific viewpoint, involve involving clear intentions, our thoughts being so clear with what we decide we desire, what we want through our directed thoughts, directed invested thoughts. So here we go, guys. I'm gonna read it to you. Every charged vibrant atom or your lit up focus point consistent of spiraling, gravitating electrons, protons, and neutrons orbiting around the nucleus of that atom has a certain degree or frequency of magnetism. Not just lead, iron, or nickel. Our bodies themselves are pulsating electromagnetic fields when we place our oriented, attuned, charged focus on our inner ambitions and desires. Focus lights us up and we gravitate in that specified, amplified space-time direction correspondingly. Um, in constant survival mode, such as focus on outer materialistic things, we limit our infinite creative power to heal or generate abundance and thriftiness expressing, expressing through ourselves. Um, the electromagnetic field diminishes as we place our focus on our outer environment, such as the fight or flight response. Um, all organisms, anything with uh, all atoms, guys, all organisms can handle short term stress as long as they return to homeostasis as soon as possible, such as being chased by a dog. So, something like a short term event like being chased by a dog, yeah, there's, there's stress. You're, all your energy is. Being in a direction where get a, get the hell away from that dog, and then the stress, and then you return to normal. All the energy uh, returns back to homeostasis or uh, equilibrium. Uh, let's see. Just give me a second. But long term, that that's short term stress. But long term stress, such as holding grudges, perpetual grudges. Um, Toward others keeps us sick, limited, and tired. Perpetually tired. We're, when we when we focus on long term things like stress or just living from a past, it's like living from a past memory that we're just addicted to. We're keeping ourselves limited, guys. We're keeping ourselves sick. We're keeping ourselves trapped in a box. We're limiting our infant power. We're literally, literally, or we're literally limiting our infant power to create. The electromagnetic field, on the other hand, amplifies as we are, as we place our focus or attention inwardly by secretly claiming our confidence, power, wealth, health, success, romance, etc. You name it, regardless of external appearances. So you can claim anything you want, guys. You can you're you're decreeing, you're 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 folks you're thinking 
as if you are the person now. You're thinking from the reality that you're that, you know, that you're already that person in the in a relationship, partner, or abundance, or uh, whatever, regardless of appearances. Can you see why the rich get richer and the poor get poorer? Not just financially, but in all avenues of our lives, guys. It's all about how we invest in our focus. As long as we focus on outer appearances and struggle and resist, things remain a struggle and persist. So it's like when we're constantly focused on like survival, just being alert all the time, constantly in alert mode. You're gonna be you're gonna look for something to be, you're you're prepping your body for fight or flight constantly, guys. That's exhausting. Or things like we're preparing to uh, for being involved in drama and all that, that stuff. That's exhausting. It's addictive. It's, ad- it's, it's addicting and exhausting. But if we choose to turn our attention on a state that already exists within ourselves frequently, but not yet seen from the electromagnetic field of energy within ourselves, energy or information that can never be created nor destroyed, that reality within ourselves, of spiraling, colliding, gravitating, charged atoms will visibly collapse and manifest relative to our objective senses. Since I, as Iron Body, am a relative, for me, I claim myself as Iron Body. Since I, as Iron Body, am a relatively powerful electromagnetic field of energy and not just matter, and guys, matter is just, is just dense energy. Matter is just dense energy on a slower, a lower frequency of light. Just dimming down. Directed by my oriented, attuned, charged, focused thoughts, I can be able to recognize my own cosmic perfection. I don't earn anything in life by being matter to matter in submission. It's an illusion. When we're beating matter to matter and submission, trying to make something happen matter to matter combat. It's illusion, guys. It's struggle, it's perpetual struggle. When you focus on struggle, you're gonna get more struggle. It's that simple. I am forever recognizing life expressing through my own channeling antenna-like body of matter. And my body as Raymond, an antenna. Channeling from the field energy field of information, the electromagnetic field of information around and within myself. As myself, I am life observing and selecting infinite viewpoints of myself, moment by moment, consciously or not. So, guys, that's what I mean by your orient, your clear intention. When Joe Dispenza talks about clear intention versus elevate and elevate emotion, they go hand in hand. It's a matter of clear intention is like, okay, what do you want in life? Make it as clear as possible. Be as specific as possible. If you can't, or just, you can be general or general and specific, just like know what you want. It's like, as long as you know what you want, then you're good. It's, um, and then you, or if you like, you don't, if you don't know anything specific, just maybe like specific relationship partner, for example, just say something like, I'm so glad that my perfect partner is in my life right now, or just something that resonates with you that implies you are, you're already in that reality, guys. That, that reality is already here, that are that already exists. Um, anything that implies what it implies to you guys. So a perfect relationship partner. It, you don't have to get too detailed with things. The details work themselves out. And then elevate emotion. When I think of elevate emotion, guys, it's simply just your directed focus, your oriented directed focus. Energy and motion. Because where you place your focus. Where you place your energy, where you place your focus, that's where you, you're gravitating in that direction of the amplified mag- electromagnetic field around and within yourself. You are simply, you are forever gravitating in the direction of the electromagnetic field around and within yourself. In the direct, in the specified focus point, your focus reveals reality, guys. Your focus, your focus reveals reality. Your focus 
When you, as long as you focus on outward appearances, they remain the same. When you focus on material, they're just going to stay as material. When you resist life, when you resist, when you resist struggle, you're persistent in struggle. But when you take your attention off of struggle, when you unplug from struggle, when you no longer associate yourself with struggle, when you make the conscious choice to turn your attention away from struggle, it may seem hard at first, but it's simply, it's a, it's a matter of, it's, this is where practice comes in, guys. It's a matter of continuously redirecting your focus onto another state or reality that exists within yourself, around within, around and within yourself, within the electromagnetic field of energy or information. You're simply attuning your focus. You're, you're simply orienting and attuning your focus, your frequent focus, your thoughts from the reality that already exists mentally within yourself. You're mentally rehearsing a reality that are not yet seen as though it were. And the things not yet seen, guys, become seen. They collect, the wave function becomes is collapsed into manifested particle form relative to your objective senses. Your thoughts... Frequently thoughts live by in secret, guys. Your focused thoughts live by in secret. Frequently reveal objective reality. It reveals your objective reality. You're simply selecting one of infinitely many viewpoints of what already exists. You're simply selecting one of infinitely many realities that already exists here now, moment by moment, consciously, consciously or unconsciously. So this is where we really utilize our power to select in a conscious manner, to invest in our thoughts rather than to um, constantly just keep just saying stuff like just barely getting by, just getting by, just struggling, just and that's where we take take the time to really invest in our time and energy into really directing our focus on what we desire. That that reality already exists, guys. It's a matter of awakening that reality that already exists within ourselves, waiting to be expressed forth through us. And revealed to us relatively. Your focus reveals reality. That's simple. So guys, I hope this video helps. And I bless y'all and happy manifesting. What will the Iron Body do? I am the Iron Body. I've always been Master Magician. Life is rigged in my favor. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? Bless y'all and happy manifesting.